Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today we're going to attempt to take this number 31 American Ford Station Wagon from shabby to shiny. Now this one is very shabby. Um, I don't actually know what this is covered in, but it's disgusting. So we start by taking out that rivet, drill down the centre of the post, remove the flange, and tap that hole. Remember to lube up your piece, you don't want to snap it in the hole. And here is the very crusty American Ford station wagon. Um, normally these are covered in kind of mummer's nail varnish, but this is not. I think this is... I don't know, maybe a bit of tin of emulsion, um, a bit of house paint, kind of very roughly painted on. So underneath, number 31, American Ford station wagon there, uh, made in England by Lesney. So I've already pre-drilled this one, we'll remove the screw here. And you'll see that it just kind of come off at the back there because this would have had a tow hook which is obviously broken off um, and is long gone. Other than that, you know, the I like the kind of natural state of this base, um, especially in this red colour bit odd to kind of mix it with the green but there we are every kind of other one I've seen that base has been black but also pre-drilled the kind of rivet head there for the glass um, kind of work cut out for me on that one you know covered in in paint and actually the paint was hiding some scratches which was a shame so I'll have to probably grab some uh, a new windscreen for this one uh, at a later date with my next order with model supplies but uh, chuck it into some boiling water there a couple of teaspoons of caustic soda and this one was to be honest a very super easy one the water kind of instantly turned cloudy turned milky and I knew that you know this paint come off um, straight away within seconds and here we have it just a couple of minutes later and not a single um, kind of remnants of paint remains uh, which I was very happy with but we're gonna polish it up using my uh, fake Dremel here which the switch broke and as you can see because I'm a super duper engineer I've put on a new switch, didn't it suit it perfectly? Um, but here's the car now. Looks as good as new. There were some very heavy scratches to the top, uh, which I managed to take out 99% of them. Um, I still need to get myself some more kind of sandpaper or emery paper uh, just to make this job a little bit better. But we go with the Tamiya fine paint here. Trying to grab as much as the inside as we can. And then just a single coat. There's quite a lot of detail uh, in that front grille, but also around the back. Um, so I try not to put too much paint on because I'm going to be, because this is a two tone car. I knew that I'd be adding an extra colour, uh, cover of coat, uh, cover of paint rather. So I didn't want to put too much on at this stage. Uh, but as you can see in the light there, you know, beautiful finish. Obviously, it dries um, in a matte finish. Uh, but for the top, I'm going to go with the this this white here enamel. Um, with kind of, I used a, a lollipop stick to dip it into that cream. It wasn't. It wasn't just a. You know, it was just a tiny amount. Um, and then of course you got the uh, green there for the rest of the car. Um, 
same green that I painted the Ferrari Berlinetta in recently. But I'm going to cover the car in this kind of off-white now. Um, I wanted, obviously, the top and the pillars painted in this colour, and then I'll mask it and come back with the green. But I wanted the interior uh, to be this colour, so I've masked the interior off also. But it went on relatively easy, as I always find with these enamel paints. And there she is, it's looking as shiny, shiny. So whilst that's uh, to one side to dry, we've dumped these into some water and uh, this is how the windscreen comes out, still with this paint intact, which with my now, I can kind of take off all of it really. Um, it still needs to be polished up, so I use a bit of uh, auto sole metal polish here. Um, I also use some kind of general car polish as well, just to get it nice and shiny, which eventually I did. Um, but one of those split pins here, I've uh, just cut it out just to kind of help retain the base onto the car. I'm not going to paint it. I kind of see this or call this almost like a, an honest repair. Um, you know, it's done the job, but I'm not trying to hide it. And then what I'm going to do with my uh, wire wheel there um, is to polish up the wheels and the axles. There was a little bit of rust. Uh, just to make it roll a lot, a lot easier. So let's get on to the window. Uh, just as a little kind of a reminder to wear your safety goggles. Put a bit of polish here. Went to polish. It went everywhere. And uh, thankfully I saved my eyes because I wore my goggles. Now back to the base then. So looking shiny, yeah it's missing a few bits of paint but bear in mind it is underneath the car, you can't see that. Um, and when someone picks it up they realise it's just a, you know, a restoration attempt. So I quite like that. And you'll see just on the axle ends there, or the hubs, I've put a bit of this uh, silver paint on as well. Oh yeah. Now she's all masked up, the insides masked, obviously the tops masked, and now I'm going with this green paint. And just trying to get you know all the little coverage. See as I'm moving that masking tape, like I say, I wanted to keep the inside of the car uh, that creamy colour and literally just hit the outside of the car and just you know underneath the uh, wheel arches there or just the seals rather than the full arch but trying to put on as light a coat as possibly can this stuff comes out at a rate of knots so it's almost uh, very difficult to kind of put on a tack coat um, I did finish off with perhaps three coats with this and after I've removed all the masking tape this is what we're left with super happy at this point I was uh, yeah quite excited so it's the following day it's been about 24 hours there's the uh, base which I'm happy with the glass there back of it was lovely you can see there's a you know a couple of little scratches in the front but you know we accept it now I'm holding this a bit gingerly because even 24 hours later that green is still a bit tacky um, but you know I'm gonna get this together now and as a reminder of the state that she was in and the result now the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice I've also added a little bit of silver paint to the front end there 
kind of covering the lights in the front bumper. Um, I tried to, well, I did Google, um, you know, how to paint that front end, and I didn't get a perfect kind of picture. They're all blurry, um, but I felt I did what was right. You know, I, th I think I copied what it should be, but I'm happy with that anyway. But I just want to take this opportunity to thank my Patreons, Wills and Things, Bit of That Cast, Nick's Toy Garage, Mark Dandridge, and Rick Bryan. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you'll stick around for the next one.